Yes. All right. So, what would you niggas genuinely rate yourself on a good day? I'm a smooth nine, bro. That's in my case, my nigga. Hopefully, everybody thinks of themselves as like a nine or above. But if you really want to be honest with yourself, I'd say like I'm a smooth like seven on a good day, maybe a five and a half on a bad day. But I, you know, I still do my thing, my nigga. As long as you're funny, you can do whatever the fuck you want to do, my nigga. The numbers don't even matter if you're funny as hell. But look, we ask people to rate the attractiveness of strangers. I'm giving my honest opinion on every single one of these niggas. I'm going buck wild. I don't give a flying fuck, my nigga. If there's a three, I'll say it's a one. Hi, I'm Ray. I'm Seven. My name four. Is two. I'm, I'm rapid firing. I'm rapid firing. I don't give a damn about this shit. Today, I'm here to judge people's attractiveness. Oh, they're judging it? How do you measure attractiveness? Uniqueness, if you're beautiful, how you speak. To me, so I'm guessing most niggas are judged off this shit. You like a fucking like fake ass Ed Sheeran or some shit, my nigga. You a smooth ass, maybe five, four and a half on some real shit. Your outfit, one, my nigga. You have no style whatsoever. You got the Wrangler jeans on. He's not comfortable on his body. He got his hands inside of his pocket. He has a Steve from Blue's Clues ass shirt on, my nigga. Are those Timberlands? Absolutely not. Those are some damn Limberlands, bro. I don't know what the fuck that is. And I think it's more just But yeah, people rate your, like, attractiveness off, I guess, how symmetrical your face is. So if you have, like, an eye down here or up here, they're gonna be like, uh, it's not that symmetrical. You're, like, a strong three and a half or some shit. But I don't know why it's based off symmetrical. Now, Maybe it's, like, psychology or some shit. convey who you are deep inside? I'm obviously not someone who is super conventionally attractive. Uh, damn, so he's so he being honest like too. A bit different. So what makes you qualified to be ranking people's attractiveness? <laughs> I'm a classically trained. I'm trying not to dancer. laugh, low key. I also have done a pageant before. She's what kind bad of though. Things that they judging in pageant. If you have a nice smile, if you have nice eyes, I usually height. I just don't see like, what the fuck is style, my nigga, bro? Because if you can put something like this on. Niggas can just wear whatever the fuck they want. I mean, I don't know why they don't have on the, you know, one in a million check on your strong friends jacket. I don't know why they don't have that shit, but, you know, I suppose. I let it slide. How attractive are you? Give yourself a rating. A five. I myself a solid six. I think no. I feel That's like way too fucking high, bitch. And in terms of, like, my character, I... She is... I give her a seven or an eight for sure. I'm a ten. I you didn't say that for the other nigga. Wait, hold up, bro. The other nigga gave himself a six and you were just like, oh, I'm true. No way you agree with him, but not with her. I always think you're a ten. That's important, especially in this business. Okay, let's Okay, um, but you're a six. What the fuck? Hello. That old man loves doing this shit, bro. I don't even know if I was able to upload the last one, but I did a reaction with that nigga inside of it. He was hilarious, bro. Your vibe is like It was like a bunch of nasty shit though. I think I didn't upload that shit low-key. He's, uh, okay, so as an old man, you gotta add some points because he's very confident in himself. I give him a smooth 6.5. Like chill. You look like a character, honestly. Yeah, exactly. You seem like he looks like he'd be on the fucking shameless or some shit, bro. He, like, hangs out a bar in the East Coast somewhere. How Absolutely. How do you as a person? Cantankerous the best. What do you... What the, what the fuck? Is, was that a damn slur? What did he just say? I'm not even gonna repeat that it's shit. not, like, about the way that you look. Nothing. Like when I look in the mirror, I'm trying to just be like, okay, that's just you. Aww. You ever have like that Damn. Thing where you go into the bathroom and you won't look at yourself in the mirror? On some real shit? What is your first thing whenever you look inside the mirror, right? The first thing when I look inside the mirror is like, damn, okay. Like I just look at myself, maybe smile a little bit, fix my hat or whatever I'm wearing, and then I go out the door, my nigga. Like I've never I've never really looked at the mirror and be like, damn, I could really I could really be, you know, use some work or some shit. I like I always try to look into a, a mirror and look at myself and at least think the best of myself, my nigga. Always. Oh. I feel like I everybody should. About, yeah. yeah. When I take a shower and then I can see myself in the mirror, sometimes I'm like, maybe I'll turn the other way. And I'll look for you. I'll look for you. I think like Wait, you is she butt ass? Confidence. You like put effort into your appearance, and I think that's admirable. I feel like he's more attractive than this nigga. Seven point five as a talent. Damn. I could see him as you know the cook, the grandpa, the uncle. So I see potential. <laughs> he did not just call this nigga a right. fucking restaurant My cook. For you would no be a way. Talent. I really like self acceptance because those are things that I'm trying to do. So I really right. admire it when I can see those qualities. He's not a ten though. He's a six. Hello. Hi. What nice the to fuck? Meet you. Whatever. See, like, what is style? Man, they can wear whatever the fuck they want to damn wear. I'm just doing whatever for style from now on. I don't give a flying fuck. He has a damn tank top with his grandma's carpet on. No fucking way, bro. Conventionally, though, this nigga's maybe a strong. I'd give him probably a seven. Definitely a seven. I'm Dez. My very first. Dez? Yeah, is yes, sir. Cologne? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, look at this nigga's fucking outfit, bro. 
He got the damn Tom Clancy's on. <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck a Tom Clancy is. Some damn dress shoes. Pants that are way too big day to roll up for himself. Maybe his grandpa's pants. And then his grandma's fucking carpet on. Thank you. Your hair is like, nice. niggas can wear whatever the fuck they want to wear. Like your fit. Is that thrifted? Yeah. You got a good face. You look oh, good. Oh, it's the thrift shit. outfit. Interesting. Oh, my fucking God. Bro, I'm about to act real relentless if you don't get off my fucking... Right. What is this even an ad for? But my Nick... That's for the Marines? How? How the fuck was that Blade Runner 2088 ass ad for the Marines, my nigga? What just happened right there? Whatever, bro. But the thing is, look. Apparently, thrifting is like a thing now. Like, niggas like you go thrift stores and then buy a whole bunch of stuff and they put it on and then make it work. That's actually kind of wavy, though. I've actually always wanted to do that shit. I feel like it might not be straight. Huh? Um, straight. Oh. No. <laughs> no way he said that. Wait, can he say that? What? Oh, okay. What about this? I feel like you're not straight. Okay. Deep neckline. Could you tell me a little bit about yourself? So the you neck. What you like to do? I go to college. He said, I feel like you're not straight, and I'm straight. Wow, that I could never. I'm a business student. I would say that increases I could tell. your attractiveness. Would you sleep with this person? What the fuck? Uh, yes, I would. <laughs> Why is he just like, well, I wouldn't. Next. <laughs> no way, I man. Give you a nine. I but can they ask her that? Isn't that like harassment? I think your score would be way more up if you were a little more confident. Little if you came out here like, I don't care, this is me, I'm flat. Right. Is that not what he's doing? Hi. Hello. You're beautiful. Thank nine. You <laughs> the first thing no, the I fuck noticed, he is not. I'd say a strong nine, bro. I love that hairstyle. I love the curls. Um, I love the piercing right there on the nose. I ain't gonna hold you. My girlfriend has the same piercing. It's so attractive, man. What the fuck is that? Nigga, did somebody try to slice her throat? What the fuck? How did, where did that come from? No way, man. Usually their eyes. Holy shit. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> you have like very like vibrant eyes. You seem very you warm, much. inviting. Matthew, are you attracted to this person? Yeah. Matthew um, is turned on. That makes total sense because three things that attract me to people is like openness, authenticity, and not being interested in men. <laughs> what do you like about yourself? Wait, what makes you attracted to women is if they're not attracted to men? I'm guess okay, so I'm guessing he doesn't identify as straight, but if you identify as a straight, then you have everything backwards right like now. Like, Why would you be attracted to somebody that doesn't like, like you? Yeah. I love this little guy here. Yeah, that's, you know, you embrace so. it. Yeah. What is it? it. Yeah. Yeah. I have scars too, so I get it. Mm -hmm. I think you're what happened? basically beautiful, you. and you, like, express yourself in a way that shows who you are. I would give you a 10. I would rank you a 10 out of 10. I'd say, yeah, I'd, that's oh, a strong God. 9. Thank you so much. I... <laughs> Why is he standing like that? <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> why? Why did it go? Why did it cut to this nigga and he was like this? Hey, bro, are you good? <laughs> no way, man. Uh, I give this man a strong. I give him a strong seven or eight for sure. I don't really know how I would read you because there isn't a lot that like strongly says anything in particular. I think you look like a guy. <laughs> yeah, he just looks like an average uh, nigga. Fit is decent. Uh, what kind of shoes are though? I have no idea. <laughs> so you don't. Yeah, don't, he don't. You he really don't care, care about, about style. Wear. He don't give a fuck. Is that like a big thing? Not really. I would rate you six point five. Six point five or so. Yeah, I, I go to seven or eight. So are you hiding something with the hat? I just feel more comfortable with that. I always wear hats. You always wear hats. Take All your right. Hat. Look at you're a seven. Put some gel in it, probably seven point five. Absolutely, that nigga's sexy as hell. Hold up, bro. Y'all can't see it that well. Look at this man. No way, bro. I'll go ahead and take the spot of this nigga. Um, I ain't gonna hold you. I dick you down. I dick you down. Absolutely, bro. Holy shit, man. Mad attractive. They they tripping with the six point five. Bumped you up a whole number because you did oh, your hair. Okay. Hell yeah. You have good style. I like. Uh, maybe a smooth. I'd go six for the sure. Nose, six. I like the nose ring, the earrings all go very well together. I would also say that like all right. you do seem like someone who is very easygoing. Like you're she not look high as a kite easy. right now. <laughs> oh good. <laughs> when you look in the mirror, what do you like the most? I just this thrifting thing. I feel like every single nigga on this show is doing it right now. Like nobody's outfit really is like an outfit. It just like it looks like belongs from different parts of life all thrown into one person. You get know what I'm saying? Like that skirt. 
with this jacket and then those regular Nike shoes. Just, I don't know, bro. I actually don't like I'm mad at them. I'm mad because I don't get a style yet, man. I don't really do my makeup. I need me a style. So I guess I don't really know if I like what I see or I don't because I try not to look. Call her bullshit. She knows what she yeah, looks like. Yeah, you know what she looks like. <laughs> you put on makeup I, today. You come I on. Mean, you think she's pretty? Yeah, definitely. Ah. As soon as a nigga used that higher octave, bro, and that higher octave, you know he lied like hell. Because he went, yeah! <laughs> that nigga lying like shit. But whenever I do that shit, like, Apollo, bro, did you take out the trash today? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, nigga, no, you did I'm not. Ask her out on a date? Probably. Huh? Are you questioning it? Like, what's in that answer? For I just. You? Yeah, he just sounds like he's questioning. I'm attracted to people because I don't want to, like, come on too strong. Okay. And if you were okay. to make yourself, what would you call yourself? Maybe, like, a six? Like, six yeah. or a seven? Searching for me. Stop! My nigga, what's Marines about this shit? Somebody tell me, man. Skip this shit right now. Skip this shit right now. You gotta hit yourself with a ten. Always, girl. The same ass ad. Give you a seven point five. Okay. I'm a talent scout. I could see it in commercials. Like, just bring the confidence, girl. Look in the mirror. See yourself and be like, I'm bad. A commercial for what though? First impression. What the fuck? You're very. <laughs> I'm gonna go strong. I mean, come on, y'all. What would y'all rate her? I'm not even gonna give my answer, bro. <laughs> a four. Green. Yeah, a lot of like different types of green going on here. Like the hair is got some green. Maybe it's just the hair throwing like, me off. You're like goth. Goth. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes. Today. Right. What are you when you're not goth? Sometimes I dress more like rock, sometimes more punk, sometimes a little bit more grungy, sometimes I mix them all together. That's Wait, cool. what is That's what is cool. the G what word? What do you find to be the most attractive grungy. part about yourself? Is that a know, slur? Am I canceled? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or like everybody likes my eyes. I think my eyes are fine too. I'll give you an 8.5 because I really dig the For strong aesthetic. Nigga. I'm going to give you... They should, they should have me on one of these shows, bro. That's all I'm going to say, bro. Put me on this shit, my nigga. Please, Lord, put me on this shit. You, an eight. You yeah. like to jump around and do yeah. what, what makes you happy. So that's cool. That's cool. <laughs> nice to meet you. Okay, so. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Alright, so we gotta. <laughs> so she got an eight! The thing is, bro, because if my black ass went on there, they give me a smooth 5.5, my nigga. I know they would. I know they would. If I go out there like this, like, um, you're not confident enough. Four. Like, nigga, are you, but you gave her an eight? All right, bro, it's whatever. It's whatever. We moving on. We moving on. I'm going to give this. <laughs> I'm going to give her a strong. Let's see. Judging from right now, I give her a six. For sure, a six. You seem like maybe more rugged than what is that? the average person. More I, I rugged. I see you, like, maybe on a motorcycle or something. Can you, like, turn around? I know oh, some, like, her pronouns are they. My fault. Cool. I didn't mean to say her. You're giving very, they, like, they, they, they them. grungy, like, t teenage vibes. How old are you? 17? I'm almost 30. <laughs> How would you describe yourself? 30? Gender queer goblin. I don't really know what that means in terms of like character qualities. Cause like when I hear goblin, I think of like the mythical creature. I would say a seven. Yeah, but like, Your can somebody explain what that is in the comments? I don't know what that is either. Personal style is not in tune with like my personal style. I would say maybe like a seven. I think you have like. I'd a still very go strong look, six. I think it suits you and I like it. It's probably going to. Maybe it's just the, maybe it's just the green that throws me off, bro. Like. For some reason, green just lowers it. I don't, I don't know, bro. Something about the color green just seems like it shouldn't be, like, an accessory. I, don't, I just don't like green. That's me personally. Maybe you niggas love that shit, bro. That's my opinion. A lot of people that you're not going to be very interested in anyway. Accurate. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you got a great She's cute. Smile. Thanks. I'd probably go as smooth. Okay, I like your jacket. That's pretty dope. All right, she has good fashion. I'd probably go strong. I'd be more to give her a 7 or maybe a 7.5 to an 8. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. She's it's cute. Called, but <laughs> it's your vibe, you know? There's nothing wrong with it. I think you have some bad I love that style, too. You're probably not, like, straight out of jail, you know? <laughs> straight out of jail? Just the hair, it gives me very, like, skater girl. <laughs> I'll rate you a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, yes, you sir. I, I said the same thing. This nigga's giving every fucking nigga on this damn show an 8.5. Shut you your lying ass up. Your own. You have a so every nigga just an 8. Seven 
7.5. 7. 5. Okay, I'm exactly where everybody else says. Say less than. Hey, nice to meet you. Matthew, look at your line. This is the least to most attractive. Yeah, well, I'm definitely in least to most. Oh, I thought you had to line them up again. That nigga's the least. All right, let me do my least to most attractive. Let me go ahead and fucking minimize this damn camera, my niggas. All right, so least to most attractive, we have for sure her most attractive. Absolutely, bro, she's bad. Um, I probably have him next. Him without his hat is actually fine. Um, then him. Uh, then her, actually no, then her, then her, then the older dude, and then them, and then the girl with the green hair. That'd probably be my most to least attractive. Absolutely. Yeah, I feel like that's good. I feel like that's good. Interested in women. <laughs> <laughs> How was that for you today? I mean, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but I, d I, I hate being like judgmental. No, you don't. You love that. You're a talent scout. What the fuck? You, you, that's your job to be judgmental. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Put yourself in the line. Oh, that's so messed up. Hey, we about to kick it. What's up? <laughs> Damn. I See, that nigga don't give a fuck. What the hell? Damn, so she, okay, so maybe she struggles with, like, just self-image and stuff like that. I'm not going to say anything on that, but she for sure is somewhere on the upper ladder, absolutely. I feel like if I place and myself... And so is he, that nigga's like sexy people, as hell. It's like telling them, yeah, I think I'm, like, hotter than you. Is there anything that's come up for you today in terms My of dick? Like your own insight about yourself? Yeah, I think definitely growing up in a Chinese household and also growing up as a classically trained dancer, those things have made me very, like, self-critical damn with a show of fingers go ahead and rate our guessers attractiveness yeah i give her like a nine or a ten absolutely said that they would put you you go right here everybody gave you a ten except for one person <laughs> exactly except for the nigga on the very end was it emotional for you to think of yourself ah damn yeah oh so she like really <laughs> struggles with it I feel like Damn. growing up, I internalize a lot of my own insecurities and what people say. That's what I would say. I said it like during a Pokemon video or something, bro. But like, I want to be able to talk to everybody through every single walk of life. Because like, you really don't know what anybody goes through in their damn household. That's like, well, that's one of the reasons I made my channels and stuff, right? You know, all this stuff is all jokes, of course. All jokes aside, on some real serious shit. You never know what the fuck somebody is going through on their house. Like, they could be going through something abusive. They can go through self-hate. They can be going through the loss of a loved one. They can be going through literally anything. So if I can just make one person smile every single day, just one, then I feel like my job on this earth is accomplished. That's all I give a fuck about. Like, people from all different walks of life go through something that we'll never know about. That's why, like... I may make fun of niggas on here, right? Like, I may make jokes and shit like that, but at the end of the day, hopefully I'm just making somebody smile, and it is a joke. Hopefully nobody's ever, like, seen one of my videos that have watched, that have, like, been inside this shit and be like, damn, that nigga kind of an asshole or whatever. Because, like, that's, that's not what I want to do. Like, I really just want to make people smile. Like, so, to know that she struggled with this growing up, I want to meet everybody that just, like, in everything, bro. Like, I want to meet maybe, like, a... Um, a Chinese person that feels like they struggled growing up because they were too self-critical. I want to meet a Jamaican person because they felt like their household was too rough on them. I want to meet a white person because they felt like they were just, you know, up amazed and they felt like they were just so much better than everybody. I want to meet a black person that felt like they were just, you know, maybe too critical on themselves because I know that I was definitely, especially not on the look side of things, but more on like a personality side of things, right? Like growing up in my household, I had a very, very much middle class family. And, you know, so when I brought that and over to school and transferred it, I was told by the black niggas that I acted white, my nigga. I don't know if any of you guys go through that shit, but, like, fuck them niggas. Like, once I realized I can just be myself, which is what you're seeing right now, of course, a little bit with the yelling and stuff and shit like that. That's not really me, but, like, right now, this is, like, the most myself that I can be when I'm having these type of conversations. It's, like, to be told that I'm going to school acting white because... I'm being myself that if that like isolated the fuck out of me when it came to me and my race I just felt like I didn't belong with them because I acted different type shit but now I know that me acting different as a black man is what makes me the most black of all like it doesn't 
It doesn't go hand in hand, you feel me? It's like, I want to meet everybody that struggles with literally anything like this so I can get the knowledge of like, okay, so how do I, you know, how do I help this person? How do I help somebody else? How do I help them? How do I help them? How do I help them? It's just all like a walk of life sort of thing, so. I don't want to talk you guys' ears off, my nigga. This is supposed to be a funny-ass video, so I'm getting the fuck up out of here. Check on your strong friends. Pray for enemies, not religious. At least wish them well. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, y'all. Yeah, yes, sir. Love you. If, somebody ever, if anybody's ever told you that you act too white as a black man, or a woman, of course, or them, fuck them niggas. Peace out, y'all. Yeah. Check in on your strong friends, check in on your strong friends How you been my nigga, I'm here if you feel like